New tonight, Sacramento code enforcement moved in today to clean up a homeless encampment. This is what it looked like back in late September, and you can see all the cars and tents there lining the streets. Well, here's what it looks like tonight. These tents and cars are mostly gone now, but there is still a lot of garbage left behind. And for months, businesses around Commerce Circle have expressed their concerns about the encampment to the city. And KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo first reported on these safety issues posed at the site back in September. She went back to the location to see what's left. Commerce Circle in Sacramento as seen at the end of September. Right now, encampments that lined nearly every foot of curb space around the block are gone. Every last car and trailer and truck and anything, anything. Nothing was on the street but my trailer at the end of yesterday. Alyssa Stanley's lived in an encampment on Commerce Circle for about a year and a half. But I came out here for numbers, for, for protection, because single mom and two kids down here. It's not a good scenario. <laughs> But she and other campers knew businesses on Commerce Circle weren't happy with the unhoused population living there. I mean, we tried to be as, as courtesy as we could because we understand that is their business, that is their money. She saw vehicles being tagged for removal by code enforcement last week. Crews began their work clearing encampments this week. Business owners on Commerce Circle say this camping community started shortly after the pandemic began and continued to grow. When I arrived at work today, um, I, I was I was simply shocked by the um, by the amount of vehicles that had been removed. Chad Roofer works at a radio station on Commerce Circle. He says for nearly two years, his business has dealt with extraordinary amounts of garbage, including drug paraphernalia, illegal activity, and his employees and clients being harassed. We simply were exceptionally concerned about the well-being of our employees during all of this time. He's pleased to see the city's action to remove the sites. I, as the mayor of the city, believe strongly that the businesses on Commerce Circle and our other commercial corridors need and deserve relief. Sacramento I Mayor Daryl Steinberg, however, sounding off on Twitter after the council meeting saying, the timing and manner of this enforcement action was not acceptable. We need to do everything possible to provide help and housing before clearing encampments. Radio station management says it feels for the people out on the street. We've certainly been very sympathetic to the people that, that are going through a really rough time during COVID. The people experiencing homelessness also understanding the concerns of nearby businesses. We're not trying to stop that. We're just trying to survive. In Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. At this point, it's unclear exactly where the encampment removal crews took all of those vehicles and belongings. There's still a lot of trash that's been left behind. Councilmember Jeff Harris told the Commerce Circle business progress cleanup will be slow but steady.